So hi guys, uh, today we're going to be doing smooth movement and non-glitchy collisions, basically perfect collisions. So, uh, say you've got a very simple game like this, uh, you've just got some walls and a little ball. What you want to do is you want to obviously create the sprites for those. So in the sprites, I've just created a wall like this, it's just a box, 32 by 32. Uh, and what I've done is I've modified mask, um, full, put it into full image and rectangle. And what that basically does is it just creates a collision mask of, of the full image as a rectangle, which is what I wanted. So uh, I've also put the origin to center. Now for the player sprite, what you want to do is uh, create your sprite as usual. And I'd suggest just for testing purposes, do it as a ball first, which is what I did. Uh, well, a circle. So I just created a circle, simple circle. And um, in the mask, um, you, we use a full image, and and we use the disk uh, collision mesh, which makes sure that the f the entire image is surrounded by a disk, like a perfect circle. And that origin is also in the center. So we also have an object wall, which has the sprite wall, um, yeah, the sprite for the wall uh, that we created up there. And um, this is solid, make sure that you check solid. For the player object, we have the sprite for the player, but this isn't necessarily solid. What we've done is we've added the keyboard event uh, for the left key, the up, right, and down key as well. So in the left one, we've set the horizontal speed to negative one. Now that's really slow speed, but when you set it relative, it accumulates. So negative one after one step will become negative two, and then the next step, negative three, and it'll just accumulate like that. Um, there are like steps are basically how many processes the the engine does per second in a particular room. So like the default for this room and most other rooms is 30. So what we've done here is made it so that it moves one pixel 30 times a second. But what we've done is we've made it relative to make sure that it's smooth. So basically it'll slow it'll start to accelerate basically and make it smooth. Now for the right one, we've done exactly the same except we've made it positive because it's going right across the x-axis. This is also relative. For, for up, it's minus one because that is up in Game Maker. Um, and that's also relative. And for the down speed, it's one, which is down in Game Maker. And that's also relative. Now what we've done is we've created uh, in the add event create we've set the friction to 0 0.5 this isn't relative so the friction is 0 0.5 and usually you want to create the friction as half of the positive of this integer here or it could be a decimal so um, so for instance I have the right speed as 1 so half of that is 0 0.5 which is what I set the friction to and because all these are the same, the friction is just universal for all speeds, so it's perfect. Step. Basically, you want to create a step event, and you want to test in under the control here. There should, uh, there's a test variable and set variable. So if speed is larger than 6, so we've put in variable speed larger than 6, set the variable speed to 6 and this basically creates a cap limit to the um, the speed that we've set for these here so this like I said would keep accumulating keep going up forever basically um, and the the number uh, and its speed would carry on going up forever as well because it's relative so what the step event does is caps the speed limit at 6 so it accelerates to that point and then keeps consistent speed 
Then for the uh, what we've done here is add a collision to the object wall. And in here we've set the um, non-glitchy collision if you like. So we just put check collision. And in the check collision we've put H speed in X which is horizontal speed because X is horizontal in Game Maker. And we set the object um, objects to only solid so it, on, uh, it only checks collisions on only solid objects and our wall is solid so that works perfectly. Uh, we want this to be relative because this is the collision is going to be relative to our um, player. Um, because that's H speed which is horizontal it's going to set the horizontal speed to zero because that's going to be when it collides with the wall. Then here we've put if there is a collision at um, at V speed on the Y axis, so this is vertical speed, which is the Y axis in Game Maker, with only solids relative to the player. If there is a collision at that position, the vertical speed is set to zero. So basically, if you hit the the wall, it'll set your speed to zero. Now what this does, because it affects the horizontal speed and vertical speed independently rather than just stopping them, if, for instance, if you didn't have these two, um, what it allows you to do is it allows you to collide with a wall at a diagonal angle and not get like any glitchiness. What you also might get is like if you reverse the, speed, the vertical direction and the horizontal direction, um, you could collide with the wall and carry on pressing up and you'd be going backwards which because it reverses the controls until you press a different key or release so what this means is it creates a non glitchy collision so in a room that we've created we've placed down the wall object all around like this you can hold shift to place down multiple and click and drag like that and then we've placed down a player and we can place down another one if we like, but it'll have the same control set, so uh, you'll be moving two characters at once, which might be an interesting idea for a game, but it's already being done anyway. So, so this is basically uh, the room. And um, if we just run that now, it'll load up our game, and you should see some smooth movement. So, accelerating decelerating, accelerating, decelerating, and such. And this is because of the friction. So friction is having an effect on us like that. If it didn't, then we'd continue at a constant speed of 6 because we've capped the speed limit at 6 with the, uh, with the step event on the player. And as you can see, when I collide with the wall, I can't go through it. And if I collide at a diagonal, I can continue moving on the X axis or Y axis that I was previously moving along. So for instance, this is a diagonal going back across the X axis and down across the Y axis or positive in Game Maker's case. And what it does is it carries on my uh, negative X speed but um, takes away the vertical, uh, takes out the vertical speed so our vertical speed is zero, hence why we go along horizontally. So that's basically um, how to create non-glitchy collisions or perfect collisions and uh, smooth movement. As you can see, if you test this out for yourself, you'll get a nice fluid motion on the character. So I could release right now, and it'll carry on going for a little while. Release right now, carry on going for a little while. So it gives a nice fluid motion to the game and your player's controls. If you wanted, you could uh, change the variables in the relative speed. So if I increased all of these, he'd accelerate faster. But you won't really notice the um, the smoothness of the uh, like acceleration deceleration deceleration as much. If I set this to smaller, like 0.5, then it'd uh, make it a more fluid motion, and it'd mean that you slowed down faster. If I set this friction to 0 0.25 which I'd want to because I'd want it half of the previous variable. So um, yeah that's been a uh, basic Game Maker tutorial. Um, this is Game Maker 8 Pro. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, please comment, rate and subscribe if you did. If you didn't then please comment, rate and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.